Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this video, we are going to study how to multiply a decimal by a whole number. Now, basically, you just think of repeated addition. And my example here is 3 times 9 tenths. Think of it as 3 times 9 apples. You get 27 apples, and this time our answer will be 27 tenths. It's like 9 tenths plus 9 tenths plus 9 tenths, 27 tenths. And that is, of course, two holes and then 7 tenths. Not 0 0.27. My other example, 5 times 11 hundredths. It is like adding 11 hundredths, 11 hundredths plus another 11 hundredths, plus another 11, another 11, another 11. You get 55 hundredths. So that's pretty easy. And um, this same principle will work in column multiplication too. Here you have 46 copies of 1.23. If you were adding, you would have 1.23 written under each other. 46 times, and you are adding them all, okay? And in addition, you will have, in the end, you line up your decimal points, you'll have, in the end, you'll have hundredths there at the very bottom, two decimal digits, and then a point or something. So, as a shortcut, we can just use normal multiplication algorithm, and multiply here as if there was no decimal point, just multiply normally, and then when we get the answer, we think, well, the answer must have hundredths because of what I just explained. It is like adding this number many, many times. Here's another example, 8 times 5 hundredths. And if you think of, it is like 8 times 5 apples, you'll have apples in the end. 8 times 5 is 40. And then we just write it as a decimal, and it is 0 0.40. Now, it is customary in mathematics to then simplify this number so that we will drop this ending zero here and just write it as 0 0.4, or 4 tenths. Now both answers are technically correct, but this is preferred in mathematics. Another one, thousand times three thousandths. You go in your head, just multiply thousand times three, and then here's your apples, so this time they are thousandths. And we write three thousand. And to make it to be thousands, to make it have thousands, we need to have three decimals here, right? So that's why it is 3.000. I'll just play three, simplify. Now, I wrote here pause, not for me to pause, but you can pause the video and try to solve these yourself in your head. Okay? And then come back and listen. Now, four times seven hundredths, we get twenty-eight, and it is hundredths. Okay, so two decimal digits. Five times six thousandths, we will get thirty, and uh, it has to be thousandths, so write it like this. Now this can be simplified, that zero can be dropped. Here, the same principle works even though the numbers are reversed. We have a whole number and a decimal, so this is like 12 copies of half. 12 times half. And 12 times 5 would be 60. But we know the answer has to have tenths, so it is 6.06. Of course, you would think of 12 copies of half, it's pretty easy to do in your head anyway, but it has to be 6 whole. And 100 times. Nine hundredths. You go hundred times nine. It's nine hundred. Your answer has to have tenths because if you were adding hundred copies of these, you would still have tenths. I, I'm sorry, hundredths. Two decimal digits, hundredths. So it is nine. I get mixed up sometimes. My last problem is three hundredths times four times five. This is still a similar problem to all these others. It's still a decimal times a whole number because these two make a whole number, 20, right? Whole number times a decimal. So 20 copies of 3 hundredths, we can go 20 times 3 is 60. And think that, okay, the answer has to have hundredths, two decimals, like that. And this is simplified to 6 tenths.